<laughs> Hi, everybody, and positive vibes. <laughs> All right. Happy Friday, everybody. Today is, uh, what's today's date, Dad? Today is July 1. July 1, huh? Oh, my uh, God. Time is flying by. <laughs> you know, folks, I think we trailed off with tradition last night. And one thing I will tell you is that my dad's always kept track of the date uh, and the month, year, and day on this old device that he had uh, on his dresser as far back as I can remember. Sir the Ross, how you doing, buddy? Sir the Ross is down in Philly. Sir the Ross, you're a reader too. You're a part of a book club. You're right on time, man. Sir the Ross, you need to uh, get in touch. Uh, you need to actually get a hold of my dad's book so you can introduce uh, it to your book club, man. Philadelphia is dear to my heart. That's where my teaching career started in Philadelphia. And Vox Junior High School, 22nd and Master. Wow. <laughs> and of course, teachers were not paid a, a lot of money in those days. <laughs> Even so, still must be desired for the work that they do. Uh, I had two part time jobs besides teaching. I drove a yellow cab. <laughs> on Friday nights and Saturday nights. And uh, I served as a, a, a counselor at uh, into, for the Department of Recreation at Mill Creek and also down in Wolf Street, Wolf School down in South Philadelphia. Oh, yes, yes. Those were some tough times, but they were good times. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Uh, yeah, nothing like reflecting to the good old days or times gone by. So, um, Dad, I'll tell you, it's been quite a day for those people. Um, you know, I actually got on one of Wendy's fan pages today and was uh, boasting about the channel and us coming on here this evening. And, uh, you know, I was uh, uh, talking about uh, all that was going on. You know, I should have let Boogie in before getting on. Okay, just hold it down, Dad. Just sit tight because he's going to start, you know, squealing <laughs> like a piglet. He's taking care of the dog. Well, it's a good day. It's a great day. I'm going to a nice cookout tomorrow. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of people, spending some time. <coughs> yes, yeah, the cookout's going to be nice. Yeah, we're going to a cookout slash pool party tomorrow. It's going to be a very nice time. Um, Oh look, Sir the Ross. So let's get on. To, let's get into the chat, Dad, a little bit more this evening. It seems like we have uh, some time, folks. We don't have anybody else coming on this evening. We just want to pass on by, keep to our word. You know, my dad is all about the word, and uh, and I try, folks. I am a man about a man of my word, but uh, a lot of times I don't have that uh, that time. I don't have the time and the timeliness down pat. You know, I'm, you know, I'm working on that. And uh, my dad and I were talking about that earlier, and me trying to do a little bit better with being on time. <laughs> so uh, at any rate, uh, it says, Mr. Williams, worth e work ethic, true Aquarius like me. Uh, uh, yes, yes. The water bearers. <laughs> oh, yes. So uh, Apple Crescent, it's good to have you on, sir, the Ross. Uh, it's very nice to have you on as well there, kind sir. Um, so we have uh, a brand new show going on this evening. Yeah, tomorrow we're, we're looking. Oh, everybody, I got to tell you, I told the group earlier that I was speaking with. Um, we um, we actually, um, I'm going to go live tomorrow. We have uh, some apparel, some, 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 our clothes tomorrow will be very interesting. So we'll make sure we go live uh, during the, uh, or on our way at some point uh, tomorrow, we'll be going live. So uh, you'll be able to see what we're doing in terms of our wardrobe. 
funny. So, uh, Ursula, how you doing? You know, folks, um, you know, we really are trying to, you know, go ahead and push books. Um, you know, my dad's book. And for those authors and writer, those writers out there and people who uh, know somebody who has a good work, I tell you, we're going to take this kind of time on everybody we get to. You know, this isn't just a, a family thing and it's something that we're just taking time out for Thomas D. Williams. Uh, this is also for everybody. We're going to take our time, make sure we give it justice. Each book, we're going to give it some time so that everybody understands what's between the pages, what's between the jacket, right? So um, justice will be served. 584 pages of goodness, of good information, of, uh, of, of plenty of... Uh, of um, well, Dad, I'm not one to go ahead and boast about it. I, I have, I, I don't feel qualified or authorized to, um, to speak <laughs> on, this, on this justice will be served. So why don't you go ahead and I'll just hold it up for a moment for anybody coming on for the first time this evening, joining us for the book club. Yeah, I, I think it will hold your interest. Uh, you, you, uh, you will be entertained. You will be entertained. I am not going to tell you that much about it. You will have to read it. You have to read it to really find out what's going on. And I, and I think that you will find, as I said last night, you will find yourself nodding north and south and also east and west. But I think you will be moved one way or the other. Yes. Very good. Justice will be served. There's the guy. All right. Very good. So uh, onward with things, you know, um, so justice will be served. We'll be doing a lot of uh, talking about the book. We also have some uh, some links coming up, everybody. I just want you all to be prepared. Um, I might as well tell you, uh, Nita's upstairs now and she is working. I, I gave her the job of... Uh, of either working on the link that we've been trying to embed into a flyer. And I think that we're trying so hard and there's a reason why things aren't coming along that way. The universe works. And so therefore, you know, we came up, I said, you know what, I've had a cash app, you know what, it, it's not like, you know, a lot of times with cash app and all this stuff and the scammers and all this stuff, you get worried about money sitting in uh, some sort of a situation like cash app. And I'm not too into or, or knowledgeable about it. what's the hacking and who's doing what and, and how you become more vulnerable. But I would imagine that if you leave money sitting in one particular location and just let it grow, it's gonna, the more you, the more you have there, the more you stand to lose. So, um, so trust everybody, you know, as we move in and out of the cash app, we'll go in, get the, get the payment for the book, take it out, use um, a portion because a portion is going to be used for postage and shipping and handling and whatnot. I, my father will go ahead and put his John Hancock on the book and we'll ship it off to you. And then the cash app will be empty again for the next, you know, uh, order of book com books coming in. So just like that. Um, so folks, with that being said, I'd like to go ahead and announce that uh, we're going to be using Cash App, and the Cash App will be, and more than likely, and I don't want to say it now because it's not all the way set up, but it will be something like the Tommy Williams Show. Um, just because, you know, you have uh, Train with Tommy. I think you have, what do you have now? I think it's, I don't even know. Uh, Apple Crescent? You know, okay. Yeah, my, okay. Oh, yes. See, my Cash App now is a dollar sign Train with Tommy. Huh? I don't think so. I don't know why we had the um, dollar sign on there. Oh, okay. Everybody has a dollar sign on there. Okay, so it's a dollar sign. Um, the Tommy Williams show. And that's what we're going to set it up as. So I wouldn't do anything right now because nothing's set up at the moment right now. But, you know, it's stand tall, everybody. Sir, the Ross, I know you want to go ahead. And no, no, no. If you get it through um, through this, then we'll ensure that you get an autographed copy of the book as well. OK, we'll make sure that we have something special on there for you. OK, um, Sir, the Ross, especially, man, you, man, you, you, you're that guy, man. We can't have you go with this with a blank jacket. we got to make sure it has something inscribed uh, uh, within just for you. Um, I'd like to just uh, throw this in. Listen, throw it. the good thing is that if we form book clubs here and there, 
uh, the people who have read the book, then we can get into some good discussions because there's much to come out between the covers. There's much to talk about today's situation, crime in the streets, crime everywhere, people afraid to go one place or the other. You can't blame it all on COVID. People are, are just doing erratic things. Yeah, you're right. Everybody is afraid. Everybody's afraid. It's like the wild, wild west. But listen, read the book. Justice will be served and you'll have a basis for talking about things that that bear on your mind. And I guarantee you, you will find some interesting information in between those covers that uh, you will want to discuss with others. Uh, it's a matter of uh, praising. It's a matter of venting. All of your emotions will come out. And uh, I'll be right there. You can drag me across the coals, lift me up. I'll lift you up, drag you across the coals. Oh, listen, we'll have a good time. We'll have a good time in the, in the book club. No one will fall asleep, that's for sure. Entertaining. It's very entertaining. It's a cheap way of doing it. Yes, we'll talk, about, talk to people all over. We have people as far as away as Australia, New Zealand. We are. I'm telling you, we are going to have a good time. But first, we have to read the book. Read the book so we'll have a basis for conversing, for inquiring. Thank you. Thank you for even listening. Yes, yes. Everybody has something to say. Everybody has something to cheer about. And through all of this, there's still hope for a better tomorrow. Absolutely. Fantastic. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Sir the Ross, I see you said that you want to have uh, uh, my dad and I on on your podcast in the fall. Fantastic. Now tell me, because you were telling me about a book club. Did you just start one or were you just, you were joining one? I remember you mentioning a book club there. Um, I guess it was in Philly, uh, Sir the Ross. I, I mentioned last night and I was thinking, uh, oh, sorry, folks. You know, I can tell you why I'm yawning in a minute. Uh, it's been a long day. I'll tell you a couple of things, make you laugh. Um, um so we okay so, so nita's gonna try to change something around i was looking and, and told nita how bright my dad's face is on there so there's something over here that we can do that's can you, that's gonna, oh, you, need to, you don't have a touch screen right that's not gonna change anything okay i was gonna do something I'm not gonna, that's not gonna but, do anything okay, to the tent Yeah, that wasn't going to do anything. Um, and the door is left open. Give me one second, everybody. Let me go ahead and shut this because we're going to get the backdrop going. Um, let me just take this off. Okay. You can tell, folks, this is a family thing. No. This is. <laughs> no fan there's, there's, there's no filter. It's like. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Positive eyes, positive eyes. <laughs> oh, boy. Joy to everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have uh, so much to be thankful for. Without a doubt. Anytime we can laugh at ourselves, then we're happy. We're happy. Laughter is good for the soul. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the reminder. I needed that. <laughs> Listen. So we we had uh, we had quite a time. We got up early this morning. I you know I, I 
my, the jet the jet skis are actually going to the mechanic. I wanted to bring them back. I had to get the garage door all taken care of. I was going to talk about service, and my dad said keep it positive. I am going to keep it positive. It was just trying to give a little information, Dad. And before you give the screw face, I just want uh, everybody to know it's positive, but it's just informative. Service has gone down. There's a decline in customer service. I feel during the course of the pandemic. And it should have been, it should be, I feel as though it should be on the rise. Like service should be better because people should be more passionate and more empathetic of, you know, of, of the struggle globally. But, you know, periodically, well, now Boogie's out there and he's locked down. You know, um, so, so what happened was, you know, we, I, I, I called the guy. I said, okay, look, I want you to come check out my garage doors. You know, there's two tracks that run down the side of the garage door. They run down. They're called rails. And um, when I was pulling the jet skis out, you know, I did a little configure it. Little, little... I'll be right back. Let me let Buggy back in the house, okay? I'm oh, sorry. Dad, you wanted to go ahead and tell him what happened with the jet skis? Ahead, please? Tommy, continue. I can't. The dog is going to get louder and louder if I start talking. Let Boogie do what he's supposed to do, Bar. Everybody has a, a dog. Yeah, dog. you got to do it, Nita, because nobody's getting up. <laughs> well, I'm not getting up. All right. Continue. All right. Well, you know, the pressure, man. Um, so I called the guy, and the guy was over there. Um, before we got there, my dad and I decided to go swimming this morning. That's what we talked about last night. We said, you know what, dog, on it, we're going to go. So we woke up this morning, threw on our trunks. That way that way, we were already sewn into the fabric of wanting to go swimming, and we had done it. So I'm doing my last. My father's over there swimming around and doing his stuff. Here comes Nita. Come on, Nita, hurry up. Get the flea bag. Let us pray. I uh, so 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 we so we're we're swimming and everything like that. We're swimming, we're swimming around. Everything is feeling great, and then I get the call. And so uh, you know, the call comes in saying, "Okay, I'm over here at the at the at the garage. Uh, what time are you coming?" I said, "Okay, we'll be there in a minute. We're on our way." So I go over there and I knew what what the problem was. I said, "All right, well, you know." The problem was um, this, there's, there's sensors. There's sensors on both sides, and they have to communicate with each other. So the sensors actually face each other, and, you know, the garage door um, goes up and down and, uh, and things like that. So uh, long story short, the fellow quoted me $450, $450 for um, two sensors, and he said he was going to go ahead and grease the rails. Yeah, I didn't need my rails greased. You know, it doesn't even sound right. And, and you know, I said, you know what? Forget about all that. Just go ahead and just change one sensor. I just need one sensor changed. As a matter of fact, here's the sensor. Here's the parts that broke off. Look, here's the lens right here. And it's a very long, very small piece, a little tiny lens. And uh, and so I was like, you know, that needs to be changed. As a matter of fact, it might be able to be put together. And if you put it together, I'll be able to give you a nice little tip or whatever. And thank you very much for coming out. He said, well, you know what? I could probably I could do the whole job for you. I could change the sensors. And and I was nodding and saying, change the sensors. Okay, that sounds good. They're just, I mean, I see the parts and they're relatively small. They can't be that much money. And uh, so, uh, you know, so. What do you say, you want to come on? You want to come on? All right, see you. All right. So, you know, so we, um, so we try to put the sensors on. And uh, before that, he needed consent. He said, okay, I'm gonna do the whole thing for $450. $450, $450 for what? And he said, and so, so and that by then I knew I wasn't gonna go with the, um, the quote and that, that was crazy. And by then I also had a, a brain uh, uh, an epiphany that, you know, okay, we're in 2022 and uh, I can go online and Google and find out where these sensors are. They, they're, you know, I could, I, the part the name brand is right there on the unit and I can Google. So I did, and I found um, two sensors for 38 bucks over at the Home Depot. So we flew over there, my dad and I, but before we did that, I had to close out with this gentleman. And I said, you know, sir, I don't know. I, before I could even commit to all that thought process, I was still thinking because I still wasn't able to think because he was right there in front of me. And I was trying to think of how we were to get a chance to do it all. So um, uh, it was a long story, everybody. It's going to get longer, and I already see that, Dad, I'm not going to do it. I can't. I can't go through the whole thing. I explained it when we were at dinner. 
the, you know, we have gone to the Cracker Barrel that I tell you, I'm breaking down. I, can't, I don't have it in me. I tried everybody. I explained the story. I think I explained the story three times today, three whole times. And it was a long story. But you know, folks, I love being a storyteller. He tried to build, <laughs> he tried to build you a new garage. I know for four hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> I like that apple. Yeah, yeah. He tried to build me a whole new garage. I'll tell you, I couldn't get that guy away from me fast enough. But you know what? Then when I talked to him, I was like, "Look, man, I might just be able to go ahead and, and put this whole thing together again." And then I was trying to find out. I said, "Okay, so I'll see you later, and thanks for coming out." I said, "Listen, hand me back the piece that I gave you." He said, I put it over there. I never saw him bend down and actually place anything. A matter of fact, he chucked it onto the side. So when he threw it onto the side, I guess he just he knew he had an account and he was going to get going and do the job. So I said, well, look, man, there was that. And there was also a little tiny piece of glass lens that I came out here this morning, no, yesterday, and I looked around and had to move leaves and dust and all kinds of particles in order to find the thing. And he just chucked it off to the side. So I said, listen, I can't have you walk away like that, Gus. You have to get down on the ground with me, and we have to look around for this thing because I could barely see. You know, well, I could actually, I could see. You know, folks, I could see. But I maybe knew this, the glare of the sun and stuff. I really couldn't see that well, maybe I should have said. But I couldn't find the thing, and I was worried. So he got down there, and we actually found a piece, and that's when I went out. And, this, and everything started getting better as the day moved by. And you know what? My dad didn't once complain. You know, he was out there. It must have been 95-degree heat, at least 92 and um and we were out and we were out there and you know and, and he toughed it out we didn't eat anything all day the struggle was on today wasn't it dad the struggle was yeah, on absolutely. for real and um and then maybe it was about maybe three o'clock and it dawned on me and my buddy al al came out there oh al came and he helped out and um he carries a lot of tools and things so he helped me out and um I was able to actually return the parts that I got, the $38 parts. We fixed the whole thing, realized what the problem was. The thing goes up and down and up and down. And now tomorrow morning, because I was going to go down and get the jet skis this evening, and my dad and I were to ride down there and get down, get back here around midnight, I guess. <laughs> but we said, you know what? Let's just go on here and do this doggone show, please. Give these folks this is what like they a need. comedy show. That's all right. <laughs> you can't yeah. make up this stuff. <laughs> You can't, folks. You can't. So it's been a it's been a long day. It's been a long day, and we still want to try to figure out a movie. And every time we watch a movie, what happens, Dad? Then we get there, and I go upstairs, and I have him sitting there for about ten hours, and I'm popping popcorn and getting ice cream and do and making tea and getting and cutting up grapefruit and getting everything perfect. And then I come there, and then he's he's ready. He's he's like, all right, let's get the movie on, Tommy. And I get the movie on, and I'm all situated and get ready. Minutes and I'm later. like, 10 yeah. minutes later, I'm asleep. Sound I'm sound asleep. Sound asleep. Yeah. 10 minutes later. Yeah, I'm 10 that minutes one. later. I'm that <laughs> one. Yeah, I'm gone. 10 minutes in. I'm in. I'm <laughs> I'm out like a light, folks. So um tonight I'm gonna try my best. We actually want to watch a um, a good movie called The Northman. And, um, you know, we were trying to watch it. All the devices here are different because, you know, we have fire sticks on a couple of uh, several of TVs. And then one TV um, that we have where my dad is, um, we have him set up. He um, he doesn't have a fire stick in there, but we tried to pull it up on um, Hulu, not one of those, you know, little 2B things or something like that. And, and it didn't work out. So the night we're going to you know, watch it on the fire stick and, and we're going to watch that movie tonight. And we're not going to go crazy with the ice cream. Last night, we slaughtered two pints of Hagen dogs. He had the butter pecan. And as my dad says, the butter pecan. Who says pecan and who says pecan? And who's <laughs> right? And, and that, that could be a debate in of itself, you know? And syrup and syrup, you know? <laughs> Craziest things, I'll tell you, this English language. Um, so at any rate, folks, uh, you know, it, it certainly is all the time nice to get together with you all. We just want to come on here and just talk about things. We want to also talk about, well, my dad, I know he wanted to talk about his thing was, you know, let's stay positive. Talk about family and staying together and, and spending time. And he's absolutely right. Family is very important to spend the time. You know, I told my dad, and I always ask him, I do a check it, check and balance, folks, because, you know, my having my dad spend this kind of time with me is really, really, I, sometimes I feel selfish. I feel like, you know, you know. I want to spend more time. And, you know, like I just dropped him off on uh, 
Sunday, I guess it was, and I turned around and I wanted to get him again. And then I had to figure I had to check in and find out what he has going on because he has his own stuff. Plus he has, you know, he wanted to go through some things and, you know, he's like I said, he's a writer. He's he's a businessman. He has a job. He has things, he goals and things that he wants to do. And he also he also goes to the gym each day. He likes his digs and, and, and doing his thing. He's familiar with his spot. You know, so um, but, you know, then again, I like to and, and, you know, I'm easy breezy. If I can't get them, then I'd like to go over there, too. I'll push in. If I can't pull them out, I'll push in, you know, and I'll, you know, and we'll go ahead and make that the, um, make that the lounge spot, you know. So uh, either way, I don't care as long as I have them with me. Um, but family is important. Everybody is very important to spend that, you know, that time with family, you know, uh, it, it's it's uh, guaranteed to be a good time and a meaningful time. Uh, tomorrow's gathering is going to be very nice, although it's not going to be with family. It's going to be with good friends and um, and taking time to break bread and things, and that's just as good. Um, what else do I have? You know, I, I actually started doing some bullets, writing down some things, trying to keep myself organized, um, and I think that about covered everything. Can you think of anything else, Dad? Uh, no. <laughs> covered it very nicely, Tommy. <laughs> yeah yeah so so tomorrow again folks we're going to be on together um we just wanted to come on and, and let you know we hadn't forgotten about you folks this is really super i mean it's, this is this is um the channel really i mean it made me it was magical all the time but it really took a curve and, a, and an upward swing for me just being able to uh to um to, to have uh, my dad right here with me um, pushing this stuff out here. And although we are uh, committed to pushing out this product, which is Justice Will Be Served, um, you know, in the interim, and as we do such, you know, it is very, very nice and very comforting to be able to spend this kind of meaningful time and to know that all these videos are archived. I will have these videos forever. And, uh, and this is really special. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you, uh, it's um, it's really quality time. So, folks, if you have your families right there with you, or if, even if you don't, you know, maybe you could pick up the phone and say a couple kind words and say even some bad words. It doesn't matter as long as you say something to your family. <laughs> you know, it's just inform important to interact. You know, sometimes it's, sometimes it doesn't have to be all the right stuff. You know, you can just you know say something, say how you feel. Start with that, you know. Anyway, uh, I, I just want to wish everybody a happy fourth. If I don't get a chance to see you all, I know people could be traveling here and flying here and going there. Uh, eat as much as you want. Uh, uh, take all you want. What do you say, Dad, all the time? What is that that you say? You know, take all you, take take all you, all want, you but, want, but eat all you take. Yeah, that's right. Take all you want, but eat all you take. That's what the mess right. said in the army. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what he said to me all the time. And I used yes, to sit there yes. sometimes and have to tough it out and eat the whole plate. I think that's why I was so husky as a kid, because I was, <laughs> your eyes are too big for your stomach. That's another thing he used to say. Your eyes are too big, your eyes take it all. And we used to just take everything, Wendy and me, because, you know, we were <laughs> very close in age. I used to sit there and the fat sausages and stuff like that and all those things that, right? Oh boy. And let me tell you one thing that, you know, uh, that at, at dinner time, uh, you know, it was me, Wendy and Wanda and my father would come in with a handful of ballies. I don't know if anybody remembers ballies, the gumballs. And uh, so my dad used to come in with a variety of colors and say, you know, okay, I got the treat. And, you know, we used to select them and, you know, that was always special time. So it's nice to have, like I said, traditions. It's nice to do simple things. You know, it's never too corny, everybody. It's never too late to do what you could have done. Uh, and so, you know, I say, you know, even if it's something simple, come up with a game, make up something with your family or your, 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 you know, significant other or something in this, you know, and stick to it. Build a habit. It works, folks. Embrace it. Embrace, Embrace it. it. Sure. Yes, yes. All right, everybody. Well, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to put this movie on. And I want everybody to carry on with their night. And thank you so much for coming on. Tomorrow we'll get a little bit further involved. Right now we just, well, I know for myself, I'm working off vapors. So uh, 
we'll see you soon. You all take care and God bless you all. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. God bless you.